There are lots of medications that treat the symptoms of MS. What the heck is a DMT and how is it going to help my MS? So a disease modifying therapy or a DMT is the type of medicine that we use to slow the natural history of MS. We treat the condition by using these disease modifying therapies to decrease and hopefully prevent new attacks to decrease or slow or halt the accumulation of neurological disability, to slow and hopefully normalize the rates of brain volume loss, and to help the human being live their very, very best life without accruing neurological disability from MS. So I know there are a lot of these medicines. Am I eligible for any one that I want? So different countries have different laws and different rules for access to medicines. The second consideration is the type of MS that you have, because not all of the MS medicines, the DMTs, are appropriate for all the different kinds of multiple sclerosis. So depending on what other medical ailments you may have may alter what is safe and what is not safe. It even matters your own doctor's experience and their opinions and preferences. Can you break down some of the disease modifying drugs and talk about their, their similarities and their differences? So we talk about what I sometimes call first line or platform therapy. And these are largely injections that the, the human being gives themselves. There's another tier of medicines that all happen to be pills, believe it or not. And the pills, if we speak in generalities, are arguably a medium tier. So you're up a shelf. There are several pills that are fumaric esters. These are twice a day pills that are moderately effective in slowing MS and arguably do a better job than the first line shots. There's a whole class of pills which recently exploded during this pandemic, and that's the S1P1 receptors. The parent compound, Gelenia, has been out since 2010, and so that's an entire class of mid-range pills that are taken once a day. Um, they do a really good job with relapse rate, and they do a bit of a better job with disability progression um, and with brain volume loss. There's a pill that I personally call king of the pills. Uh, it's a weird one called Mavenclad, and so Mavenclad is a discontinuous therapy. It's a pill that you don't take on a regular basis, which is kind of strange. Um, and then there's a, um, a pill called Abagio, uh, which, is, uh, which is an interesting one because it's, not, it, it's more like the shots when it comes to relapses and new MRI spots, so kind of a lower efficacy there. But as it relates to disability progression and, and slowing brain volume loss, it's actually superb. There's a, a, a top tier, so this is you know, top shelf stuff, which happen to all be monoclonal antibodies or biologic agents, which happen to be delivered through uh, intravenously. And these are things like alemtuzumab, ocrevus, ocrelizumab, uh, and its new cousin, Kisemta. So in gross overview, we have some shots, which I would lump as lower efficacy, some pills that are kind of mid-range, and then some infusions that I find to be very, very high efficacy. How do you get your patients up to speed so that they can make a decision that they feel comfortable with? It starts by discussing MS, not, not medicines, but multiple sclerosis. We then must have a conversation about prognosis. Next, talk about life goals, not MS goals, but life goals, because we're going to gear our decisions and our behaviors to achieve those goals. I have this cutesy saying, I want you to be four for four in your fight against MS, because there are four things that I'm aware of that slow the disease down. And so we start with number one, which is exercise as part of your lifestyle. Then we move on to number two, which is eating clean, eating whole foods, avoiding processed and fast foods and supplementing vitamin D. Then we move into not smoking stuff and attending to cardiovascular risk factors. It's only at this point, Ardra, am I now ready to talk to you about disease modifying therapy? Is there any benefit to people for not taking any disease modifying drugs? It would be the single worst decision of their adult life, period. And in that instance, what we must do is we must pause, and we have to channel the 20 year older version of them into the room. She will demand that she walks. She will demand that she swallows unassisted and that she can feed herself and that she can orgasm at her own desire. And she will demand that her cognition and her mood and her energy are intact. And here's the kicker. She is helpless to do that. You have to do it now to help her then. We have to prevent the damage because it's not reversible. Seek treatment as soon as possible. Early intervention is key. You're not married to your treatment. If it's not working for you, talk to your doctor about switching DMTs. Treatment plans are big decisions. Think about lifestyle, long-term health, and personal goals to help you make the right choice. Thanks so much for watching. For more content on MS, from treatments and diagnosis to mobility and sex, check out the rest of MS 101.